But for right now, I do believe, despite the fact that we're going to through some of these budget crises, that we shouldn't allow short-term economic setbacks, you know, uh, take away from the you know promises and things that we've made with the employees. Going to the next one, which is the education. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a tremendous amount of uh, lack of education in this country at this point. What are your thoughts about the education, particularly uh, pre-K and above uh, grade 12? Well, that is one of my platforms this election, mm -hmm. to maintain education you know, to the highest ability that we can. In Montgomery County, uh, actually State of Maryland has ranked number one for school system two years in a row. Mm -hmm. So we are very proud of the way our current mm -hmm. school uh, education is. I want to continue to support this system because I believe one of the factors that most affect the quality of life is the, you know, our school system and the quality of it. And that's the reason why people move to areas because the school systems are so great. And naturally, if you have the pre-K through 16 education, you create a society that's more educated. And when you do that, you bring in greater economic development to the state of Maryland and Montgomery County. And all in all, it's just a win-win for everybody. You have greater ed educated society. You're going to have a you know, greater economic you know, base. But you know, it's so tough to find a great platform in uh, Montgomery County, for instance, which is so rich, which is so educated, they really lack nothing. What can you promise them to make their life better? Oh, Ramesh, I, I, I thank you for thinking that, but I think we do have a lot of issues. we got a lot of urban areas in Montgomery County. We have a lot of immigrant population where English is a second language. So even within the school education system, we put a lot of resources into those students where English is a second language. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think we deal with a lot of issues in the urban areas as well as even across Montgomery County because there is a disparity between, you know, uh, education-wise, mm -hmm. economic levels, and also, you know, we're trying to get big businesses and biotech come to the Montgomery County area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, Montgomery County is like everywhere else in the nation. We have our own issues that we face. They say government's work is never done. Yes, it's <laughs> never done. <laughs> Rural areas, what are some of the issues? What are you going to do about them? Well, I think one of the major issues in our rural area is that we have what's called the Ag Preserve area. Mm -hmm. In Montgomery County, there are 93,000 acres of land that we've set aside so development will not take place along those areas mm -hmm. because we want to preserve our green space and our open space. So that's a very big area in District 15 in particular. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of farming that takes place. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we want to preserve as well for future generations mm -hmm. to be able to have the farmers keep their land so they don't feel the need that they have to sell it just to maintain you know, revenue. And then you have all this like sprawling development that takes place. So we, the government, try to help those farmers to make sure that they can keep and preserve their farmland in their family and for future generations. And that they get tax breaks. Yes, they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make sure they continue to get it? Absolutely. You are a transportation engineer. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see as a mode of transportation in your corridor? Okay. And the state level, of course, because you're a state delegate. Of course. I think, you know, we need to be looking at the future for transportation. Mm -hmm. We can't be just getting in our single occupancy vehicle and driving up and down roads. That is one facet that we have been